So we got some cilantro that's ready to be picked. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just picking this, some of this cilantro. It's delicious, it's healthy, and it's a plant, so it's not bad for you. Got some jalapenos. I got a lot to harvest, guys. It's awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely awesome. Oh, man, this is aquaponics. If you don't know what aquaponics is, check out my playlist, Aquaponics. You'll learn it's the best way to grow veggies because it's sustainable for our environment. Helps reduce pollution. Helps us to grow double the amount of produce, healthy produce, per square foot. thing's got a lot of jalapenos on here. Whoopsies. The thing's getting heavy. What's everybody doing today? That's a big one. Look at those jalapenos. Got lots of cilantro here too. Pretty excited. Definitely gonna get some of this arugula here. Oh yeah. You got anybody watching? What's up? Whoever you are watching, I can't see who you are, but thanks for watching. What are you doing today? What do you got going on? Whoop. Got some zucchini, large zucchini plants growing. Look at that, it's beautiful. The real, what's happening? Cilantro, yeah, that's right, man. It's Paul. Paul, what's going on, my brother? Glad you messaged me back this week with a plan on the uh, strategy for selling your oil. It's fantastic, man. Yeah, this is just aquaponics here. I've actually been contemplating selling this big thing, this big system here, just because I might be moving. I'm not sure yet, really. But it's a good system. to grow just about anything oh, yeah so easy to harvest too arugula got some arugula some cilantro and some jalapenos all right I would fill this system out, but the electric bill is so high. It's really better if you got the sun doing a lot of the work, you know? But uh, I really don't have the money to take and take the roof, roof off and put something down like Solex. But if I did take the roof off, I would definitely put Solex because Solex will, would be my number one. Man, look at that. That's going to be fantastic. Can you grow dandelion greens? Yes, I can. Yeah, you can grow flowers, edible flowers, orna ornamental flowers, and that's a really good market. It's actually a very expensive high dollar market. Uh, but yeah, aquaponics is perfect for anything flower related, edible or ornamental. I've got some lemon balm over there that is smelling wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I'll show you. See, I don't have all the bed planted out because I don't want to turn all those lights on. But this stuff smells absolutely wonderful. 
and then I've got some bell peppers growing and then of course I've got some of that Swiss chard Swiss chard is sweet and it is absolutely delicious I b boy I do love aquaponics though man I absolutely love it put that right there looks like we've got two that have grown in here oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh, that is looking wonderful Look at all that just a few plants and that's a meal right there uh, don't want to let any of this go go to waste really good for you healthy yeah, I need to turn the phone around check out my comments here in a minute too oh, I got some cayenne peppers that are putting on so excited for those too all right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I can't read the comments. Oh, there we go. Can you grow any? Okay, that's the last one. Paul, what are you doing today, my brother? How's everything in your neighborhood? How's Paul's neighborhood? Got to replenish my tank here. Turn that valve on so I can fill the water back up need to add some fresh water too this is my ozone machine which I use to clean off my freshly harvested produce I'm gonna turn it off though because I'm just filling this thing up right now it's good here I planted some acorn squash oh good choice man love me some squash with, with some onions oh yeah so you did that today. Is it pretty hot there, Paul? Because it's like 92 degrees here, man. It's super warm. Me not likey. But we're busy at work, so I'm happy about that. I'm going to have to pull those jalapenos out to get them going. All right. It's 60s. Oh, wow, dude. 60 degrees. What? Sorry, excuse me, Paul. I've got an issue. Here, I need to set this phone down somewhere. Ugh. There we go. There we go. Now I can get to everything. Take a look underneath. Wow. Yep, I would have totally missed that one. Oh, shoot. Almost dropped one. See what we got underneath here. A couple around here. Oh no. Oh yeah. That's a big one. Huge. Man, 
and this thing weighs a lot. I'm struggling to stay up. I got a ton of basil. Look at this basil, man. Look at that basil. Mm. See that basil? I bet that thing's gonna be delicious. Wow, it's done about pulled the the medium out of the raft here. I wonder how big these roots are. Thanks, man. Appreciate that, Paul. What? Looking big. What? Looking big. looking semi big yeah I gotta harvest this because I'm starting to bolt right here see starting to create some flowers and that okra is getting way too tall I need to take it out of here probably put it outside but I got a pretty good amount of cilantro jalapenos arugula and I've got to uh, I've got some more cilantro planted in there. I got to get that. Really need to rearrange. But uh, man, nothing like having fresh produce. And you know what? You can't find it anywhere. None of the major chains, uh, especially Walmart, sell good, healthy, organically grown produce. So if you're not growing a garden, Paul, I know you are. If you're not growing a garden and you watch this, start growing a garden. You need one. You need one for your health. Oh, why are you saying rotate device? Anyways, you need one for your health. You need one for your family. And look at that. That's amazing. I got a big old thing of green, brother. You're going to be healthy now. This is Tad reminding you, don't forget to water your plants. See you, Paul. Y'all have a good day.